In treating cancer, too little chemotherapy and the tumor survive. Too much can be life-threatening. Now researchers led by Walter Longo at the University of Southern California have found that in lab tests, not eating for 48 hours before chemo gives healthy cells an edge. Starvation tells the, the cell, all the cells in the organism go into a protective mode, right? And the cancer cells, because of their characteristics of not being able to respond to that, uh, just continue on their normal pro-growth track. Scientists know from experiments with everything from these tiny worms to primates that a lack of food sends cells into a protective mode that can actually extend life. But cancer cells keep dividing even when faced with starvation. Longo wrote in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences that a 48-hour starvation period helped protect the healthy cells of mice from doses of cancer-killing chemotherapy. The animals are running around after about five to ten-fold higher doses than the maximum one allowed for, for a patient. But Longo notes starving cancer patients before treatment is not a good idea. So he's researching diet modifications that could do the same thing. Just a, a few changes, very specific changes in the diet, and all of a sudden, the, the, at least the animals in our case, are now very resistant to, again, very high doses of, of chemo. Ultimately, Longo would like to see a medication that might give doctors a new strategy, starving out cancer. I'm Brad Closa.